Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. The first project we're going to work on is going to be a little wood crate. Now I've got this at a thrift store and I think I paid like a dollar for it. It's got three little compartments in it so it'll be great to put some florals in it or some bottles. You can see on one side it had a little chalkboard. This was a Hobby Lobby piece. So, but I'm going to paint the whole thing white with some Rust-Oleum white linen chalk paint. I went over it with a couple of coats. Now on the smooth side where it had the little chalkboard, I'm going to use some beautiful decoupage paper. I'm going to have a link down below to the website where I get a lot of my decoupage paper. But this is very budget friendly. I think a lot of times you can get a sheet of decoupage paper for about 3 to $5 and a piece of sheet will go a long way. Because I've showed y'all in several videos in different projects of how projects of how you can really piece together decoupage paper. It's very user friendly. But I'm going to take two halves of this. I love these little birds and these little florals. And I'm going to cut this little section out and I'm going to put it on half of the front of the crate. Once I play it, then I'm going to cut another half and I'm going to piece them together in the center and you'll never know they've been pieced together. Now I do the same thing to the other side. I'm just going to go around and score it with my fingers, and you can also go around and trace with a pencil. Once you get it traced out, then you just want to cut off the excess paper, lay your design down, get it placed where you want it, and once you do, then it's ready to apply. Now to apply the paper, I'm going to work in sections, and I'm going to use DIY Liquid Patina. You can also use Mod Podge or whatever decoupage medium you have on hand. Now once I got it on the little crate, I went over the top of it with another, you know, layer of liquid patina. I went over it and rolled out the wrinkles with my brayer, and then I'm just going around the edges, giving a little distressing with a little sandpaper. Now we've got a cute little crate that we can dress up for spring and summer. I want to give a big thank you to Ritual Vitamins for sponsoring today's video. I've been taking Ritual Vitamins for a few weeks now, and I'm going to tell you all a little bit about them. If you're looking for a multivitamin that has key ingredients and it gives your body all the nutrients it needs, then you may want to start a daily ritual that you can feel good about. And their vitamins do just that. They have vitamins to suit every phase of life. And for me, I'm right now taking the Essential for Women, the multivitamin over 50. Their vitamins are easy to take. And all I do is I take two a day with a glass of water. Now these are very easy on your stomach, so you do not have to take them with meals if you don't want to. You can read all the nutrients that they have in them. And as you get older in different phases of life, your body just really depletes a lot of the nutrients and sources of things that you need to make you feel good every day. Ritual Vitamins also comes with a happiness guarantee. So if you're not satisfied after 30 days, they will refund your money with no questions asked. They've also been so nice to offer all of you 20% off during your first month. I will have all their information down below in the description box and also in a pinned comment. So I hope you'll go out and check out their website and try their products. And also they are convenient so they can be delivered straight to your door so you don't have to worry about running low. The next project piece is also a thrift store find. I keep found this cute little bird cage for $3.99. Now it came with this little pot of lavender in it. I took it out because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece outside and I'm going to give it a couple of coats of white spray paint. Now this is a beautiful candle ring that I just received. Now this little candle ring can serve so many purposes. I'm going to show you how you can put it in the little bird cage just to add some little floral greenery to it. And I'm also going to show you how you can set it up and use it for a wreath. So this little piece right here, I'm going to have it linked down below, but it can, it can be used in so many ways and it's a beautiful piece to set out in our vignettes for spring and summertime.
Now this project I got at America's Thrift Store and I just recently shopped for this and got it and I love the sign. It was $5.99 but I think I can do it to suit my home a little bit better. I took the back off of it and I'm going to flip it around and use the back because the back was just a plain little press board. It didn't have the graphic on it and I painted it white with some chalk paint. Now I'm gonna put it back in the frame and now we're gonna have a great background. I'm just using a little bit of hot glue in the corners and along the sides so it'll stay in really good. So I'm gonna put that back in the frame and once I get it in there, I'm gonna show y'all some beautiful bunnies that I got last year on Amazon, but they, I'm gonna check and make sure they still have them and these will be in my Amazon store. But I ordered a couple of these last year and I did a few projects last year with these, but I absolutely loved them and I had this one left over. So he's gonna make a great little piece to put on this sign. Now he is more of a sticker than a transfer. You know, the transfers we put on with a, you know, little scraping tool. This is more like a sticker. So you want to very carefully remove the back and I tried to do that without moving my decal, but it did not work. So anyway, I'm just going to be very careful. I'm going to try to center it back up to where I need it. And once he gets on there, then you want to go in and you want to press him down really good to where he doesn't have any wrinkles. Now, y'all know I love to use my brayer. So I'm just going to roll over him a few times with my brayer and he went on really well. So now we got a cute little bunny picture that we can set out for springtime. Now, if y'all have watched my channel very long, y'all know I love to upcycle projects. And these little pots I did last year and I put some transfers on them. Well, I'm going to flip them around and now I'm going to use this beautiful little bunny decoupage paper I just received. I love decoupage paper. It is so fun to use. And once you get started working on projects with it, you can't stop. Now I'm going to cut out a few that I feel like will fit on the little pots the best. And once I got to cutting them, cutting them out, I just kind of placed them on there and decided which bunnies I wanted to use. A lot of them looked good, but I went on and went with the ones that had more of like a little garland ring around them or a little wreath. This one I left just like it was because it was sized really well. These were a little bit bigger, so I cut these down. And how I did that was I cut the little, um, the little design in half. I folded it, and then I just went in on the sides, and I cut through. And once I cut through and got where, you know, where I wanted it, now I'm going to go in, and you want to cut out as much of that white paper off your design as you can get. Because anytime you use decoupage paper, if you've got like a, you know, this white around it, the more of it you cut off, the better it's going to look. But a lot of times on a white background, it's not real noticeable. So, you know, th this is really, you know, your personal preference. But I went around it and I cut as much off as I could. And now again, I'm going to use some liquid DIY liquid patina. And I'm going to apply all my little cute bunnies to the front of my little flower pots. Now, once I get these finished and I get them all applied, then, you know, then now we can decorate these little pots with so many little things for spring. I'm going to put some little grocery bags in them. And then I'm going to put some Easter grass and I'm going to fill them up with some bunnies and some carrots. Hope y'all are enjoying the video so far and if you are make sure to hit that like button 
Now I'm going to take a little bunny that I got at Dollar General and he was one dollar. Now a lot of times Dollar General their decor now is cheaper than Dollar Tree but they always have some really cute stuff around all the seasons. So I picked him up and now I'm going to use another piece of decoupage paper and like I say I'll have the decoupage paper linked down below. Now I'm going to use the back of the bunny. I painted him white because a lot of times when you use decoupage paper you want to start out with a white background just to make your decoupage paper pop. Now these little squares will not fit the whole size of my bunny so I'm going to use two of them. I'm going to place them on my bunny and I'm going to do half and half. Now I'm using DIY liquid patina to apply each section and I'm going to put the little floral little shabby chic up at the top around his to his neck and then from his neck down below I'm going to put this little floral pr print. I thought these little patterns coordinated so well together and it really gave this little bunny a little shabby sheet look. Now I put the <clears throat> both sections down, I let it dry and once it dries go around and cut off your excess paper then take a piece of sandpaper, go around the edges of your project, sand it off, remove the paper and smooth your edges. Now for those little hard to get places you can always use a nail file. A lot of times you can get these at Dollar Tree. Very inexpensive and they make great tools to work on our projects with. I just went and tied the little twine and the little Easter tag back around its neck and now we got a cute little shabby sheet rabbit that we can set out in our spring vignettes. Now when we got this cute little bunny decoupage paper out and I've already got some of these little bunnies cut out, I'm going to use this little thrifted, it's some kind of little ceramic jar that I got for 99 cents, it's white. It's kind of like a little mini crock, but I thought it would be really cute to, to decoupage one of these little rabbits on it and then this would make a great piece that we can put some really pretty little baby's breath or some kind of little florals or greenery that we can set out in our vignettes just to add a little bit more of that little spring detail. Another fun piece of decoupage paper I recently re received is this little sheet of baby animals. Now I'm not sure how many is on this but y'all you get a lot of little baby animals and they are absolutely precious. You get different sizes of some little goats, lambs, little rabbits. So I'm going to take this one. He's a good size and I'm just going to get a scrap piece of wood. Y'all know I love to work on scrap pieces of wood and I always have these laying around. This one I'd already painted white and distressed it but I'm just going to show you how easy it is to apply one of these little bunnies using some DIY liquid patina to just a piece of scrap wood and then we've got a great little shelf sitter and you can also put this in your in your baskets and set these out for spring. Just everywhere you have like a little vignette you can put one of these little wood scrap bunnies in it and it just adds just the sweetest little detail because I don't know about y'all but I absolutely love rabbits. I love bunnies so I cannot have too many throughout my home.
the next project is a fun one. And we're going to use, again, a piece of scrap wood. Now, I'm going to leave the wood just like it is. Now, I went out and I, I downloaded a free bunny printable. And then I just cut him out on a piece of, like, cardstock. And then I'm just going to lay him down on this piece of wood. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and stencil around him in white. Because what I want is I don't want any paint to go up under my bunny. So when I lift him up, I want him to be wood color. So what I'm trying to accomplish is I'm trying to get everything around him um, painted white. And that's why I use my stencil brush around him. That way, when, if I used a brush, it wouldn't get up underneath it. And if you do get some paint on it, you can always go around with some sandpaper and sand down the paint. Now, I'm just going to take a little piece of twine and a little bit of hot glue, and I'm just going to give him a little twine uh, bow. And you can also give him a little pom-pom tail. You can just take a pom-pom, whatever you have. I had some that were a little bit larger, so I just cut my little pom-pom down to size. But you could also take a little hot glue and stick on and give him a little pom-pom tail. Now we've got another cute little bunny shelf sitter that we can sit out with all of our other little spring decor we've made. Another really easy project, and we're also going to use another piece of scrap wood. And like I told y'all in my last video, you can find scrap wood pieces a lot of times at the thrift store. They're project pieces that some people may have already started, but they'll donate them. So a lot of times you can get pieces like this at the thrift store very inexpensive. I just painted my piece of wood white, and I took that same sheet of the little baby animal um, decoupage paper. I cut this one out and I just applied him using some liquid patina. And now what a cute little bunny shelf sitter we have. You can also drill some holes in him and put a little wire hanger on him. Now I took some more thrifted items that I had in my supplies. I picked these up sometime last year. I got these at the thrift store and I paid 99 cents each. Now they didn't spell anything, but I got all they had and I think they had five. So I'm going to take, you know, a few of these and I'm going to paint them all white. And then I'm going to put decoupage paper on these. These are like little squares of like two by fours. They're probably like a two by two, but... These just make great little shelf sitters, and the thickness of these are perfect. So I'm taking these little chicks off that little baby animal big sheet of decoupage paper that I showed you earlier in a project. And then I'm going to take a couple little graphics off this sheet. And like I told y'all, I'm going to have all the decoupage paper and products that I use in today's video. I'll have them all linked down in my description box. But I'm going to take these cute little chickens because we did the other one in a chicken. And I love the little chicken on this one. So I'm just going to apply it to this little piece of scrap wood. I'm going to roll it out with my brayer just to get out any wrinkles or bubbles. You let it dry. And then once you let it dry, then you'll go around and sand it. Now I'm going to use these little eggs, and I'm going to have to piece this together. I used another part of this decoupage paper on another project, and you'll see it in next week's video. But y'all, y'all know I do not waste anything, especially decoupage paper. And like I've told y'all, it's very user-friendly, and you can piece it together, and you'll never know. So that's what I did on this. Up there in the corner where it didn't have enough paper to go across my, my wood, I just kind of pieced in a piece. And like I say, you'll never know. So now that my, my all my liquid patina is dry on my designs, now I'm just going around. I'm going to sand each piece of the wood, just smooth out the edges, remove any of the excess paper. And now we got some really cute little blocks that we can set out for spring and summer.
Okay, y'all, we are at the end of the video. I hope y'all got some ideas and some inspiration for some things that you may have thrifted, maybe some scrap wood pieces. Take your decoupage paper and just have fun with it. You can make some really cute little spring and just all occasion decor for your home, and it's a lot of fun. So I hope y'all got some great ideas and inspiration from today's video. I appreciate y'all coming over and watching. Do not forget to go out. Check out my description box. Click on the link below to go out to Ritual Vitamins. Go shop their website and use my discount code. And I want to tell them again, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. I would love to meet you and talk to you. Make sure to follow me on all the social medias. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. As always, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you again in next week's video. Bye, y'all.